let's move on to stock splits. Stock splits basically has a similar effect as stock dividends. So we basically, so far we talked about three different types of stock transactions other than the original issuance. We also, at the beginning of Monday's class, we talked about stock dividends, where stock dividends could be paid out to reward shareholders. As another, this is another option that company can use other than cash dividends. Cash dividends is actually giving a, giving out check to shareholders. Stock dividends is a way to issue additional shares to the public and also as a way to reward shareholders. Now the effect of stock dividends at the time when I talked about it was that there was additional shares issued to the market and also would likely reduce the market price for the shares at some point. So that depends on whether it's a small stock dividends over 20 to 25 percent or any percentage of above. Small stock dividends will be using the um, market price compared against the also the base value to see if there's any premium in the stock. The large stock dividends will just simply use the par value because it may likely significantly reduce market price after issuance. Now splitting the stocks is very similar effect as stock dividends. Usually when this happens, when this happens, basically we're not issuing additional stock, but we're just doubling the stocks out there. Splitting it. So, meaning that if I have one share, say from Walmart's company, one share that worth $100, after splitting the stock, the company issued an announcement <coughs> that they want to split the stock two for one. That basically means when I have in my hand 100 shares, it breaks down to 50 50. I have two shares, each of them worth $50. Meaning the total equity value is the same, just the number of shares doubled or tripled. Two for one, three for one, four for one. Depends on how many times they want to reproduce the stock. Basically, but the total value is still the same. So I still have a hundred dollars of common stock in this company. It's just that each share now will be worth half of what it was originally worth. Okay, so if I had two hundred shares, that basically breaks down to 50, 50, 50, 50. Four shares. Splitting the stock really is just increasing the number of shares, but each share of the value is also cut in half. So by doing this, oftentimes this would also trigger uh, a deduction toward the market price for the stock. So the company thinks that their market right now, the price is overpriced for their stock. Let's say each and every share worth 100 market on, in the market right now. I think this is overpriced and right now the market market is stagnant because of this overpriced stock. They may decide to announce this stock split two for one. So at this time, they will basically each and every share's value will be cut in half. This may likely trigger some of the individual shareholders who doesn't have enough fund to purchase a significant dollar amount of shares. And now if each share is just $50, it will be easier for some of the other common shareholders to purchase more shares if each share value is at a lower price. Okay, so this oftentimes will cut the market price to half at the same time and will trigger more trading activities uh, going in the market. So this is kind of the background to why company wants to do this. And in terms of reporting this on the statements, really there's no journal entry to, to this, just a memo entry we call it. This is pretty much the only memo entry that you would see in the entire course. Basically just stating what happened. So February 3rd, what happened is the company split this common stock two for one. The old number of shares that was originally issued will be listed in one line. And the new number of shares, basically double of the original shares, will be listed in the second line. Okay, so that's all to stock splits. In terms of reporting this in financial statements, simply just stating a line of what was the original number of shares, what is the new number of shares. So here's an example of splitting, uh, splitting each share into two. So basically the number of shares doubles. We also see par value originally was a dollar. Now each share par value is 50 cents. So if you use this to time the number of shares, you could be able to figure out that the total equity amount really is the same. Just the number of shares doubles, each share value worth lower. This oftentimes will trigger market price to go down and more
more at trading activities to go on in the market. So this example is two for one. It could also be three for one. So if it's three for one, this part here, the number of shares would be this, whatever was the original dollar amount of number of shares times three. And this would be about 33 cents. One divided by three. If it's three for one. If it's four for one, then you will see 25 cents here. The number of shares would be this times four. Okay, so that depends on how many, what is the splits number that company wants to do. Basically, it doesn't change the account balance number at all. This just changes, changes um, the number of shares, and each share is part value. It cuts in half. It cuts in one third. So all of these are actually some of the actions that companies can strategically do in order to try and attempt to control market share price. You can issue stock dividends. Also, we'll, there will be more shares issued in the market. This oftentimes will have the same effect as this. It will trigger the market price to go down. If they think their market price is underpriced, and they want to buy back some of the stock, the treasury stock. So in that case, the total number of shares out there will be lower, and price would oftentimes boost up a little. Okay, so this effect is the opposite uh, compared to treasury stock. So if we take a look at the statements, again, only difference is this. If you see the right side, all the dollar amount is the same. The common stock, preferred stock balance, the total stock equity is exactly the same. The blue line here is the effect here. Just the number of shares doubled, and each share's value is cut in half. Okay, that's all to this.